What's going on ladies and gentlemen, Stan here, welcome back to NBA 2K16, moving on to the next game, uh, but before we do, I just want to see how I'm doing for attributes, I'm rolling pretty high, I don't have enough for athleticism, I have, ooh, actually I have more badges, bank is open, that'll up my bank shot, fade ace, dimer, ooh, we have dimer already, I have to upgrade this one, without a doubt. I'll go gold on that bad boy. That's an easy decision. Still got over a thousand. I also have the bank shot, which I think I might consider doing. I only have enough for the one though. That's just it. Ooh, I also have brick wall. Wow, we got a lot of badges. Huh. I think I need to upgrade my this. Oh, that's only a 250. So it should be a five. Yeah, to get the gold. Use that bank shot. And maybe I should upgrade the brick wall. Because I probably don't have enough for anything else. Anything else worth getting anyway. No. I mean, I have enough for this. But that's kind of pointless. So yeah, I'm going to upgrade the brick wall a little bit. That's a good... Oh, that's only 350 as well. And the gold one's probably a 700. Yeah. Okay. Well, what do we have for fade ace? 350. Do I have enough? No. I would probably do that. Or how about the screen outlet? 350 as well. These aren't very expensive ones. Excels. He's able to knock down shots off the pick and roll. So I'd be able to shoot better. So I'd be the one getting the pass. That's what that would be. Well, I'm ready. We That was a good series of stuff that we unlocked. That's awesome. So we're going into our next game. Playing the Nuggets. Hopefully we'll dominate. I have a good feeling. It's uh, I've got a feeling. Show. We're starting to get some early answers on this year's big questions in the NBA season. And here to tell us what it all means are the experts. Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. I'm just your, your host, Ernie Johnson. No one's an expert. Huh? No one's an expert. Well, you guys try. Pepsi Center, the site, Denver Nuggets, the home team, and today they'll be playing against the Charlotte Hornets. Looking at the Hornets, they're coming in off a win in their last game against San Antonio. These guys are playing good basketball with seven wins in their last ten games, and they like their chances tonight. And here in the early going, some teams already fulfilling their potential while others struggling out of the gate. Shaq, how big a deal are these initial outcomes? All right, let me tell you something. I hated losing. Period. Didn't matter if it was early, late, whatever. I expected to win every time out. Well, the reality is of it. You have 82 games. So if you get too high or too low in your little valleys or, or your peaks, you're going to be in big trouble. But every loss and every win does affect home court advantage if you're a veteran team trying to make the playoffs and trying to win it all. So you're thinking about every loss. If you lose in April, it hurts just as much when you lose in January. And time now for tip-off. Let's send it to Kevin Harlan. He's got the call. All right, here we go. I'm curious to see how my new, uh, my new badges, if they're going to really help. I'm glad I got so many of them. That's fantastic. All right, we're away. We've been home. Rock and roll, baby, rock and roll. The Hornets would love to finish off this road trip on a good note. They've really been on a roll. They've gone five and one in their last six games. And I think for Charlotte. Oh, leaving for Reed wide open. And a Reed with the one hand slam is so sweet when it's his hand doing the slam. Oh, yeah, he is so smooth. Even on a power finish like that. Come on, baby. Really, that's what makes him unique that combination of power you gotta finish there brother and i should the upgrade that full pick play, the golden the pickaxe stuff on that. He is slam camp. yeah easy call yeah you can hear the smack all the way over here where we are the oh dear their first free throws of the night right here nuggets. Emmanuel Taking two shots. and he sinks the second never know <laughs> On defense, the Nuggets. It's a three-point game. They come into this one following the loss to the Grizzlies. 
and really given how they performed off please think that thank you guys, they just never had a chance. gotta get that goal yeah, pick and, and roll see their frustration growing and growing as they continue to come up empty on their possessions by the end although i want to work on stats to too watch the clock wind down and move on screen by farid and Gallinari kicks to Hickson. Puts up the baby hook. And it's gonna Damn, be two free hard. Contact on the shot. Yeah, Those can't really be blocked. And get to the line. And you know the defense gets their money's worth on that foul. Stop oh dear, the they're not really making their free throws, are they? Are they, I say. He's off get on wrecked. the second. Charlotte, their last game, a win against the San Antonio Spurs. And you know what? Exactly no. what had to be done oh. in terms of winning on the road. Never allowed any I thought I was going to miss that. Up against them. Kept the crowd out of the game. And for every punch they took, they had a counter. I was very impressed, Greg, with, what, with the way they stood their ground. Even when they were on their heels some, coming through those moments where they were backing up. Ah, I was thinking I could get in there. That's what it takes on the road. You've got to show that kind of fortitude and resilience. Walker the pass to Quinn. Outside Walker. Out left to the wing from Maybe. feet out. Yeah. Again, shot good from Quinn. Getting on that roll. Look at that bank is open gold. And here's Moody. 23 points for him the last game against the Grizzlies in Memphis. Golinari dishes to Moody. Come on, baby. Screen by Fareed. Just five on the clock. He's wasting a lot of time. Kicks to Fareed. The shot will not go. God. Play. Excellent D there from Quinn. Hornets have gone three of four from the field. Whoa, Front getting bullied game. out here. Screen by Jefferson. Quinn passes to Jefferson. Nice play. He got right to the cup using that screen. Free. Jefferson's got his first basket. And early on, they've been nearly perfect from the floor. Just the charge one here on their first five attempts. Dolinari inside the three-point line, and he gets the shot to fall after coming off the pick. You can't afford to get him that kind of a look. Well, you know, he came off a good screen, but still, as a defender, you've got to do a better job of fighting over and through that. I'll go up here quick. Outside, Walker, the high post shot. It's Jefferson with the drive. Nice. Falls. Nice feed that Good job, time boys. From Walker. Rolling with that play. Jefferson's got his second bucket of the night. The Nuggets trail by three. Picks in a screen. Oh, a come on. on freak. That's his first foul. If you get a hand on it, man, you should be able to, like, you tip it away. But I'm not allowed to make contact with him. Bonari with it. He had an 18-point outing in the last game against Memphis. Come on, mate. Six on the shot clock. Hornets with the rebound. That's really too easy a chance to miss, guys. He needs to be more aggressive and focused on his finishes. What? Get it again. Dude, I'm Jefferson, wide open. You got to give good. me something, but at least Jefferson's, Jefferson's on got there. Six. Really not hard to see why they're giving up points on this run. I mean, they've just given them too many looks. Oh, gosh. Time. Yeah, and usually when a team goes on a run like this, it's because they are getting too many opportunities on the inside. Make them. You know I had to do people. that. And he gets it to go. That is too good. His first bucket of the night. And bullseye with that assist. Nice delivery there in traffic. Clark, some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, they need a basket just to regain some momentum here, Kevin. Well, I tell you what, that's too good a look to pass up there. Even though it didn't go, that's one you got to take. Quinn kicks to Zeller. Feeds to Batum. Oh, my God. What kind of a pass is that, Zeller? And here we go. Fast break. Oh, nice deal. Out to the wing. Here's Quinn. Come on, man. Why? A moment to check in with Doris Burke. Doris? I spoke briefly with Randy Whitman. I'm surprised. That didn't work out the way I wanted. We're still up by a good margin. Five points. Well, it's a decent. Than they did the last time and said with their defense and shot blocking, they're planning to make Dude, room for days. Finally, we're getting some shit going here. 
Thanks, Doris. Uh, well, guys, give us your thoughts on that. Well, I think for a team that has the ability to control a game with its defense, uh, that's where I would expect the focus to be. And that's exactly right. I mean, if oh my God, what's happening? I thought it, I didn't even know what went down there. I think coach is coming into this one with the right mindset. Cutting into that lead. Come on, bitch. Let's go. And the basket is still shaking. Oh, I mean, he has got not really in bunches on that two hand. A strong stretch of play the last game. And three-point field goal percentage. And he's in the top 20 in assists per game. His talent for creating... All right, guys, let's rock and roll. ...for his teammates, such an asset. And, you know, back to his efficiency from three. You know, defenses are now trying to deny him the basketball, but really not having any success. Back it up. The Nuggets making a switch here. Nurkic has checked in. Quinn kicks to Zeller. Nice, that was lucky. That could have been stolen. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, Greg, the defenders have to show more fight. Come on, Madai. On the interior. Or whatever your name is today. Midday. I was jumping. What was it that delayed jump? I hit it way before he received the ball. That's weird. Another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively so far. Yeah, and I think we're going to see them operating a lot of their offense. Maybe not. The oh! Yeah, that one's good. Nice. Really, how about the I wasn't sure on that, that one. Triple there because he's like my shot percentages are going up. In that matchup. Right on target you are, Greg. I mean, the quick release is what made the difference. This guy's there. a tall hesitation. point guard. And that shot is being blocked. Goes up on the high post. Oh, come on, get that. I got it. It's going on. Right, missing. Oh, damn it. I thought I got the board. Just a bit. Hasn't been able to get a whole lot to go so far. Quinn kicks to Jefferson. There's the screen. It's freak. Top of the key. It's blocked. Oh, what happened there? I faked him. And I reached in. Well, I'm out for the, the quarter. My bad. So it's the Hornets now. 17 point lead their biggest following this one they get to host the pelicans and that's Dude, the you gotta hook me up three straight at home and now let's check out the lineups courtesy of gatorade all fueled up and ready to go here's the second quarter of play taking a look at the nuggets chandler and farid are at the forward spots vasquez out there come on brother will barton barton doesn't know what he wants to do in at the five roaming the paint pocket four Here's Barton. No way. And they force the shot clock violation. Great team. Very solid. This break gives us the chance to see which teams have been the most successful in the transition game this month. In third, the Hornets. Now, they've been playing an exciting brand of basketball during that time. I mean, taking every chance to get out in the open floor. Wow, he's on me tight. Here's Quinn. He picked up 24 points in their last one against the Spurs in San Antonio. Oh, and damn. How about the job he did. Rebound my bad. As well, guys. I mean, just the dominant performance on the glass. That was my fault. Offline with oh, I got the board. I didn't think I would. Hornets leading by 17. Got it. Get the ball Quinn passes to Zeller. What? Dude, what, what the hell was that? Break. Here we go. And it's oh, chase down win. block. Two I, I. As they jump out on the break. And here they go. From deep. That's good. It's good. Oh my god. <laughs> this is murderous. And a closer look here at the Oh my the god, that's just shutting well, them up. To admire their intensity in the paint defensively. I mean, really contested. Should have ran the floor. And even blocking shots. Definitely a factor early. Really bad. So defensively. Feeling good though. Cause some turnovers tonight and and that also builds confidence and gives you momentum. Get the ball Screen by Jefferson. Freak with it, now guarded by Fareed. Yeah, the got the end one, baby. On the shot. One free throw coming his way. That's really rocking and clocking. Freak to the free throw line. It the goes freak on throw line. <laughs> a different look for Denver. J.J. Hickson, he's checked in for Laverne. And it's going all right in for Wilson Chandler. Kemba Walker's checked in for Charlotte. He was going to do it. Batum against Gallinari. Inside and lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot too. It goes on Cody Zeller. Yeah, easy call. Yeah, you can hear the smack all the way over here where we are. The Nuggets shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. 
And when you think of free throw shooting, not particularly a strength for this group right around 70%. You know, they've really put themselves behind the eight ball in so many of their games because they just have not been able to knock down those foul shots. Oh, easy does it. Back it up. Now here's Freak. He's got 16. And it's Walker penetrating. Let's it bad shot. From 18. Very bad. I'll admit that. Now the Nuggets take it the other I panicked because I saw Buddy coming, so I tried to back out, but it was too late. You know what I mean? So it's just a mind thing. Kevin it's messed up. Really hurt them in that game. The lack of success. At Why was it saying I left my guy? I was standing right next to him. I mean, I didn't lose for it, but it said my, you know, assignment. It, it, it was starting to go red. Clanged off the rim. I mean, that's an easy way to get the home crowd. Let's get this going. Grill. Jefferson setting the pick for free. Jefferson. Having trouble getting these Jefferson. picks and rolls. And also a block shot. This is his first free throw of the game. First there we free go. throw is good. Two shots. Come on, Jeffs. Good on Nicely ball. done. We're just you gotta do two sink your free throws. The, second quarter. Denver calls the Nuggets are getting wrecked out here. Listen to the crowd. No, everyone's just like, what the fuck? So like things have gone downhill since JaVale McGee when it left the team. Now we get a chance if to that is even possible. West. Already we're in December. You look at Houston. They've got the number one record in the conference, and because of it, each night out, their competition bring it right at them. And of course, Up Denver, and at them. Back. Well, I think for Denver, they haven't made any of the strides they were hoping to see prior to the season. Again, hanging around at the bottom of the standing. Yeah, it's full makeover time now, guys. Come on, Vasquez. I'm sure they've learned their lesson that this roster is not one that can sustain any kind of success in today's NBA. Oh, I'm not tall enough to get that board. Advantage. They've definitely been winning that battle on the board. You know what? No rebounds, no Maybe. rings, and they've yep. controlled the board. I think that was the bank shot right there. And them control of this game. Guys, his consistency in terms of shooting has really helped them seize control. Screen by Fareed. Colinari dishes to Hickson. The 15 footer. His shot is good, making it. How the hit me. Two from the floor. That's a clean look they gave him there, fellas, and he drains those. Passes it to Quinn. And just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Here's Jefferson again. Nice. The Hornets score. Boy, such outstanding patience and decision making for them offensively. Absolutely. Their ball movement has been outstanding, and they're piling up the assists. Now, Gallinari. Steady offensive output from him, averaging more than 16 points a game. Come on, man. Six on the shot clock. I got to get rid of it. Now, here's Vasquez. I don't think so. Walker. Vasquez can't get it to go. Hornets leading by 21. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Doris. Take Burke. it, take Doris. it, take the bite. Well, Kev Freak in the last matchup against the Spurs got down nice. to business. He ignored he my screen. He waited for a stronger one, even though I have brick wall. I want to see someone get wrecked on the brick wall. It was quite a display from him. Absolutely incredible numbers from him in a monstrous game. Right, oh, get that out of here. Run, 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 run. To just marvel guys at dive, 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 dive. Oh. Do that night, didn't you? You know what? It, it was the game of basketball. That would have been amazing if he dived for that highest or dove no, for no it. No question who their MVP was in that win. No question whatsoever. That would have been magical. That's a performance he and his fans will remember for a long, long time. Vasquez can't get it to go. For Charlotte, they've gone five of seven from the field here in the second. And a wide open look for Freak. Dude, come on. And even though he missed that, you have to take those shots when you get the opportunity. Exactly. They don't come much better or easier. Oh, Fareed. And a sturdy screen set for him. We're still destroying them right now, though. Just straight to the rim for the finish. No way for Was it like 21 points up? That's that's for sure. No chance, Kevin. I mean, the screen was in the right spot. His feet were set. He would have had to go straight through him, and that's not legal. Moutier, he's checked in for the Nuggets. And then for Charlotte, Kaminsky, he's checked right, in for Cody Zeller. Let's get some assists Zeller. up on the board. And Michael Kidd Gilchrist subbed in for Nicholas Batum. And nice. And it takes a nice I wasn't sure if that was going in. Iron and down. 
14 but it trolls them because when Jefferson. I have an open look, they think I'm going to take it. Clark, they've been looking out of sync offensively. You know what? A basket here would do a lot for their confidence. Here's Don't allow it. Murray softly drops in the floor. Now there's something for the top 10 highlight reel right there. A layup can be just as sweet and as pretty as a dunk sometimes. Whoa, that was a risky pass. Now here's Freak guarded by Vasquez. I'm going to call on the screen. They set the pick to the inside. Kaminsky. And a ah, every time they get fouled, right for two. they're going to miss. Well, most of the time. See the numbers for Vasquez. He's around six points per game, six assists, and three rebounds. And those numbers, solid, not spectacular. And, and sometimes what you see is what you get. He certainly knows his role, and he gives you some good minutes. That's Come on, really Kavitsky, finish it off. Attaboy. For the Nuggets, Yusuf Nurkic comes in for J.J. Hickson, and it's Arthur in for Fareed. And a switch here also for Charlotte. Andre Robertson, he's checked in for Walker. Come on, baby. Screen by Nurkic. Gallinari's dribbling a lot. Gallinari against Kid Gilchrist. He's going to have to get rid of it. Now, here is That's Gallinari. a bad shot. Defense right on him. And it's going to be a 24 second shot clock violation. They turn it over. Hornets they do that a lot. 23. In the corner, it's Kid Gilchrist. Take the bite. Screen by Jefferson. Freak sets his. Oh, to the ground! Here's Quinn. Why not? <laughs> That's that brick wall, man. Quinn's got Quinn moving this little chat. Just in this quarter. Moutier kicks to Gallinari. That's my bronze screen outlet right there, too. The pick for Gallinari. Knock him to the ground, call for the screen. The 10 footer. And it's Gallinari again missing. And, and not a night Out of my way. he's going to want to remember. Just not really able to score the basketball. From about I don't know why I waited, but I still got it. Again with the bucket. <laughs> While Ricky Getting all J.R. Smith on them, waiting for Buddy to come in. The skill that he possesses allows that one to go. Well, the quick high release negated any height disadvantage he had right there. Vasquez digs to Moody. Pass to Arthur. Fires from the line. And the basket. Book it. Arthur's got five now. Come on, Gil, Chris. Let's go. Here's Quinn. 22 points for him. I want to get some assists in here. Let's get the ball inside. He feeds it to Jefferson. Oh, come on, Sink. Nice. That pass, though. Almost uncontested. I mean, it's nice to be able to add to the lead without having to really work for it. Denver's gone 0 2 from deep here in the second. Here's Moody. A little early. It's rebounded by Kid Gilchrist. You know what? Those are shots you just hate to miss when you get those oh. bunnies Defense on a possession. Off his leg, and the ref's whistling a kickball. That was an accident. That was my fault. I dribbled it on his and leg. And you're also for Charlotte. Harrison's checked in. And here's Freak. His numbers are looking pretty good. He's got his scoring average up around 18 and a half points a game. No! Slam Gilchrist slamming it down. Kid Gilchrist. The one hand slam is so sweet when it's his hand doing the slam. Oh, yeah. He is so smooth, even on a power finish like that. And really, that's what makes him unique that combination of power and polish. Nurkic kicks to Chandler. To the paint. Here's Vasquez, and that's Don't know why I'm jumping. Four. He's taken nine shots to this point. And guys, they continue All right. to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with the way they work down low. It's becoming a theme in this game, Clark. They are piling up the points in the paint. Over to the wing. Oh, I didn't want him at all. And Rovers and kicks to Quinn. They set the pick. Pass to Kid Gilchrist. Nice. He got right to the cup. Kid he's Gilchrist is screen. good because he's got he's got Kid the speed and he can provide a good basket. screen too. They've had assists now on their last three baskets. And it's not just their passing, but also the body movement off the ball that's created a lot of those opportunities. Moutier passes to Chandler. He's gonna have to do something with it. That's in. Oh, I can't believe that went in. With that one. Now one for two. Defense left him just a little window to get through. And he just ducked in for the layup. Terrific job. Here's Quinn. Oh, for my lord. Boy, how about that screen? That was monstrous. 10,000 fans for that dunk. 
The Nuggets shooting from the field, 44%, not bad. Moutier dishes to Chandler. And there's the feed to Moutier. Oh, God, I left him. Three. That's and okay, that worked. The rebound. Quinn's got three rebounds so far in the game. Physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. That plus Little dumb. Rebound advantage tells you all you it was need fast to break. I should have taken my time with it. What it says on the scoreboard, they're really pushing them around. Straight bully ball. Here's Moutier. Kid Gilchrist what the, the hell was that? I'm flopping. Roberson can't hit. Wow, we are just up by a lot. It hasn't even been close. It's Charlotte. Almost 30 points. This one. Jeez, 29. That's murderous. These guys are done. I do notice, though, that the badges are doing their work. I can tell. And as we welcome you back, we begin our second half. So far, not a tightly contested game, guys. But, you know, anything can happen. Just absolute domination in this one for free. He's got 24 points, and he's got nine points from behind the arc. Yes, sir. And that's been an important part of his game today. It's really space the floor. Tipping off the second Take half. Take the bite. Here's Steve Clifford. Hit the brick five. wall. Celery and Jefferson are inside. Freak is out there with Kemba Walker. And it's Batum in at the three slot. Just five on the clock. Oh, so give it to me, when. Here's Quinn. And that that's not fair. He, Kemba well, wouldn't he do anything. Arm that one. Short stroked it. After doing a nice job to get open, he didn't finish the shot. And there's the pass to Hickson. Hickson a screen. Here's Vasquez. The Hornets pull it in. Good pick, but he, he just couldn't make it count. Yeah, nice job. Of no, don't don't do that. By his teammate there, and I'm sure he appreciated. It. Here's Quinn. Damn! With his three. Here's Denver now. He's gonna throw it downwind to Utah for a meeting with the Jazz. That'll be just one game played away. I'm way away. Gallinari wide open. Sinks Damn. the triple. Gallinari's got. I think that would have been my boy. Second half here for Denver. That shot becomes effortless for him when the D is so relaxed. They gotta get more intense. Jefferson setting the pick for Freak. Dishes it to Jefferson. Outside Batum. And Zeller kicks to Batum. Yeah, I gotta get on the arc. Feeds it to Quinn. The tray. Oh, Again, come on. Just give me one of those. I'm in the crowd. I'm in the crowd. The second half with three straight misses. Oh! The Hornets pull it in. Zeller's got three rebounds so far in the game. Let's it go from deep. And he there you go. Get it back. There from Quinn. Don't need Quinn's it got at all. Points. And it looks to me like he still has some of the shooting touch that he displayed in the first. All right. It's only the third quarter. Molinari passes to Fareed. That's good. And, and that's the kind of lead pass we've come to expect from him. Patience. Patience. Taking early threes is leading to long rebounds, which you've been transition to the last month. Look at that. Assists. 18.5 or something was that? Was that an average? The Nuggets have gone 6 of 14 since halftime. A little cold from the field. They set the pick to the middle. Whoa. Whoa. Stripped him. Spiked it away. And here we go. Oh, no. He's got it. It's too bad. I was ready to pass. Now here's Vasquez. Defense right on him. Kicks it to Nurkic. Ball Tipped. knocked loose. And Get wrecked. Freak. Woo! Down the breakaway slam. Well, there you go. One team that double team. on all cylinders at either end. Steals fast break buckets. And the other team scrambling to find its game. Great point. I mean, that aggression has allowed them to just create a lot of havoc. And boy, are they taking advantage. What's with the spinning, man? It's rebounded by Charlotte. Quinn's got four rebounds now tonight. Not the guy you want oh, to the line, Kevin. We're good. And a moment now to look at the scoring approach. Come on, Robertson. Where the points are coming from for the Hornets. I thought he's a shooting guard. Passing has been picturesque. A thing of beauty in both halves. More than a few of their think be able to make these. He missed both. Also, Maybe it's the it's pressure. Really Maybe he's tired. The rhythm and confidence you've Watch seen Treach. from long range tonight. He's that scared me. The entire game. 
Chandler with the ball. Picked up by Kid Gilchrist. Why'd I jump? That's good. I shouldn't have even jumped. Vasquez has got 11 points. There is no way, no way a player like him can be left wide open like that. Did you pay attention to the scouting report? They set the pick. Quinn kicks to Roberson to the inside. Shot off the screen. No. That one wide left. Well, that's a Didn't bad work. miss right there. I mean, you'd like to see him be a little more assertive when he has such good position. Here's Arthur. And it's Freak with the rebound. Well, I think the defense got lucky right there. I mean, he's going to make a lot more of those than he misses when he's got that much. Oh! And now we have a chance to check so out close. Freak here. A wonderful that's string of games. He's put this together per game, 12.8. First in assists. Third in free throw percentage, and he's right up there in the top 20 in scoring. Certainly a force to be reckoned with offensively. And I think we're talking about the ultimate competitor here. I mean, he maximizes every possession and just shreds defenses. Hairston, it's both nice. Of them. Wow. That's a 30 point gap to still. In the third. On, baby. Come on, baby. Vasquez dishes to Chandler. They double him with Freak. Arthur passes to Nurkic. And again, it's I don't get that. Like Technically, that pass wouldn't have happened. The mismatch there, immediately making anyway. the defense pay. All right, let's get this assist. Let's get these assist game. There's 53 seconds left to play here in the third. And the there you go. And one, baby. To go through on the contact, so a free throw coming up. A great opportunity for a three-point play. Nicely what a done. Game for Kid Gilchrist. He has eight points, and he was able to come up with one steal, too. You know what? He's been a difference maker defensively today, Clark. He's disrupted more plays than the stat sheet will show. Screen by Nurkic. Here's Barton. And uh, right now, he's averaging about seven points a game. Vasquez I'm there. <laughs> can't get it to go. Six-second difference between the shot and game clock. Quinn kicks to Roberson. He dishes it to Quinn. Bad idea. Bad idea. That one comes up a bit short. Said it was a good shot, but right onto the bench and out of the game if he continues to shoot it like he has so far in this quarter. To the paint. Nurkic dishes to Arthur. No good. Fellas, that's exactly the job the big guy has to do for him. Contest. Ah, uh, tried to get rid of it. <laughs> I was close too. The three quarters of play all in the books. My this God. One all but over already. Hornets ahead, running away with it. Just and dominating. Some changes for wow, Charlotte. you put me in late. Cody That's Zeller not very nice. For Jefferson and I must have had a lot of time. Walker. Come on, man. All right, let's do this. Hornets have gone two of seven from the field in what's been a cold start to the fourth quarter for them. Chandler and Fareed are at the forward spots. Moutier Whoa, getting and double. Molinari, and it's Hickson in at the five. That's the group on the floor for Denver. And it's Walton missing. He's always going to have a difficult time finishing when the defense is in his face like that. Well, what is happening? Hickson it's just with the bucket. It's a it's clusterfuck. Credit, credit is due right there. A terrific assist. And for the Hornets, their shooting certainly a key for them in this one. 55% from the field. Screen by Walton. Here's Quinn. An easy nice. layup after coming off the pick. Quinn's got 29 in the game. Hard to get that one off with the size difference there. That makes it a tough individual matchup for him, especially down low. Well, took on the big guys going in there and challenging got the boards. like he did. But boy, that was a nice job. He kicks it to McGee. Jacks up a three. That's got to be good. Come on, good. man. The Nuggets have gone through the fourth quarter shooting 50%, 7 of 14. Moutier passes to Gallinari. Here's Fareed. The basket Damn. Drops, and he gets I think Fareed's the their star. How about that one? Able to maintain control and finish the play. Yeah, we call that playing through the whistle. You know, he didn't give up on it when he heard the whistle. He kept his focus, his concentration, and he found. I got to get that last assist. Two more boards. Here's That's what it. Here's going with right now. Laverne, he's checked in for Hickson. Arthur comes in. There you go. Wilson That's Chandler. that. 
And Barton subbed in for Gallinari. Freak. Great job. I got my of dub dub. There. Dub nice dub. Job to take it to the rim and get the finish. Laverne and some very quick points for him on that possession. You know, down there in the low post is where you really want to create a lot of your offense. Freak with it. To the left side wing. Kaminsky kicks to Hairston. Oh! And fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. That one is on Arthur. Yeah, easy call. Come on, brother. You can hear the smack all the way over here where we are. And he makes the first. PJ Hairston. Two shots. So after making ah. the first, he goes one for two. Denver's gone two for two from three-point land to start the fourth quarter. Oh, that's foul a foul on my part, yeah. That'll give them two chances at the free throw line here. Free. Yeah, he's trying to ball. block it. Yeah, you can hear the smack all the way over here where we are. That free throw missing. Seems to have done the trick, though. Taking two shots. And he misses the second one as well, so he is 0 for 2 that time. Give me this. You know, so many games are decided by which team wins the rebound battle. Look at this cheese. They're trying to, I think he was trying so to double far. me. Get over here. And Clark, their effort on the glass has given them the advantage, but it's also been there you the go. effort in general. It's another assist. Has made a difference. Almost I'm all about those boards right now. Shot to block in the post. The defender can't give up that much nice. of a made three point play. and expect to contest it. Nick Johnson's checked in for Will Barton. Don't have a lot of time left, though. I got to really work now on here's it. Johnson. Fareed outside. There's the dish to Arthur. Stuck. To the inside. Nelson. And the layup That's falls. too bad. How about the way he's able to angle his body to shield the big fella off and still get the finish? You've got to be clever with your sleight of hand when you get inside and try to finish against the bigger guys. And he made it. He, he made it look easy. Oh! And free God, it's just down. quietening everything and it down. Was the screen there, guys, that freed him up as he ran his man into it. And then it was all acceleration, GA, to the bucket right after that. Almost a backboard breaker. Nelson dishes to Fareed. Zeller grabs the board. Zeller's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Quinn passes to Zeller. Now, Freak. Zeller, a screen on Nelson. Quinn kicks to Zeller. That's Lance open for Robertson. And Charlotte nice. again with the buckets. They're spraying them this is just murder. Like, this today, is a guys. murder. Finding the gaps in the defense and really just slicing and dicing them right now. Two minutes remaining. Nelson outside. Shot clock at six. So he gets the whistle. God damn. Jacked on the way up and two shots coming up. They're taking a lot of free throws, though. I don't think this is the man you want to take. Yeah, as you can see. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Yeah, I swear he said Weezen. On the scoreboard. Nice. They've taken the initiative. They've played, I think, with more purpose so far. Denver's gone two for two from three-point land to start the fourth quarter. Passes it to Fareed. We've got 128 left to play in the final quarter. Nelson, no, no way. Him. Come on. on I Johnson. couldn't really see how far Nelson's away I was. Four points this quarter. And, and as we head to the final buzzer here, a crushing blowout. Big time dominance. And, and this will go in the record books as a golly win the for the Hornets. Two great rebounding teams, Clark. Yeah, and these guys just worked a little bit harder tonight. That was the edge that was needed. Come on, and man. You got to give me something. Telling their 16th win. And that could be because of my pull-up. them a sweep of the season series, even though it's just a brief two-game. I tell you what, Greg. No matter how brief it is, anytime you can get oh, a my bad. sweep, you're happy. Trying to get some and boards. Beyond the actual result of this game, I don't think it's happening. Fans are gonna look back and, and see this was just a monstrous performance Jeez. for free. It was the kind of game for all scores. Finally came out where the basket seemed as wide as a barrel. Watch the reach. Don't need to waste our time with the reach-ins. And here's Nelson. Pass to Laverne. Arthur kicks to Nelson. 
Oh, stolen! Do something magical! Oh! Woohoo! How's that for a quick possession? Yeah, no. God, these guys are just taking that I feel bad for them. Beautifully done. And the replay, of course, presented by Kia. What a play. Fareed setting the pick for Nelson. To the inside. Fareed, no good. What's going on here? There we go. Here's Quinn. Let's it go. Can't connect. <laughs> Too bad. And so it's the Hornets taking care of business in this one. To come into an opponent's that was amazing. The way they did that was a domination. Awful lot about this like team. he was saying, I that seriously was. Need home cooking to feel at <laughs> home. I mean, Kevin, just a masterful performance all the way around. And that'll do it, folks. Couldn't get the trip dub, but that's okay. The 2K Sports Post Game Show. I got it where it counted. Thank you, Kevin. And now let's move on to the presentation of our Jordan player of the game, Freak. Talk about lighting it up in the second quarter. My word, that was just huge. And the impact carried them through the entire game. His offensive performance was the main reason they walked out of here with the win tonight. You got a sense early on it was going to be a big game from him. His attitude, his swagger, it was B-I-G. He gave them an ultra-reliable option every time down the floor. Well, just look at his assists. I mean, that tells the story for the game right there. He was seeing the court so well, always seemed to make the right decision. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And that brings us to the end of our broadcast. For Too bad that they don't show highlights anymore. Those were cool. Like, I haven't seen a highlight for being player of the game in ages. All right. When we haven't had like a post game, you know, thing either. Like a post game interview. All right, and that one is in the books. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button, favorite it as well, and let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next one.